hype it up. How about that? That man knows what he's doing. Oh, I have the Thanksgiving. I'm just, uh, I left my family um, for good, hopefully. I'm just going to get in the car. No, no, I'm going back. I'm going back. Um, but I left my family. They were all in the turkey coma. Just the house was just destroyed. We had 40 people. I smoked a 30-pound turkey. I made two briskets with barbecue sauce from Kansas City. I, I, I rocked it out. And, and the house is just, it's just disgusting. I'm so glad to be here with you guys. <laughs> Everything's nice and clean. I was in the green room. Somebody said, you want some water? In my house, I got to go back and scrape pans. That's where I'm going back tonight. I left a dish, a yam sweet potato dish, in the oven and forgot. And somebody was like, what is that incense? It's very... <laughs> And, I, was, and I, I still, I totally forgot and burned it to a crisp. This morning, I saw my brother eating it. It was just, just like, a, just savage. We're all just savages the day after, you know? Just like, oh. Uh. Uh, today is my birthday. Yes. Yes, it is. It really, really is. You won't come back here tomorrow night and hear me say that again. Um, yes, I turned 51 today. I look good, huh? I look good. It was the heroin. The heroin pickles you. Um, truth, truth. Uh, but yeah, I'm 51, and it's I'm, I, you know it's been a weird year. I uh, I turned 20 years sober this year as well. Don't applaud. It's, I, thank you, thank you. Uh, I didn't choose that. I was, it was time. Believe me, it was time. Um, but I, I run into friends of mine now, my age, who are, how many people above 50 here? All right, come on. You don't have to do it, ladies. We, no, we know you're 30. All right, good. How many, so every, how many people in their 20s and 30s? Let me just see this. Okay, this is for you. I'm going to give you guys a little message. Don't screw this up. Seriously. Thank you, sir. I have a friend of mine, a few friends of mine, guys, they're all guys, and they'll say to me after drinking heavily, they'll say, oh, John, I wish I'd sowed my oats more, I wish I drank more, I wish I did more stuff, and I'm just nodding because I'm sober, and I'm just nodding, yeah, 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 but inside I'm thinking, what were you doing? What were you doing during your 20s and 30s? These are the same guys, these middle-aged guys who will like divorce their wife and marry somebody younger and then divorce them. Or, uh, and, and they just, they never, they never took hold of it. Now I'm gonna give you an example. Um, this is 31 years ago. Wait, yeah, something like that. I was, no, no, it was 20 years ago. 20 years ago, I was arrested um, for, I was on, L, I, was, I had dropped LSD, and I was driving. Now, I looked a little different than I look now. <laughs> I had really long hair, which I rocked big time. I did, I did. And I wore a Mexican poncho. You know the Mexican ponchos with the hood? I was wearing one of the, those are back, by the way. I'm thinking about digging mine out. I've been seeing the kids are wearing them. And I was wearing a Billy Jack hat that was like this big black rim, and I was, I was driving, my friend Rick was next to me, and my friend uh, Melissa was in the back seat. It was her 30th birthday. And what better way to celebrate your 30th birthday than to drop acid and go hiking in Ojai? And you all did that, right? Everybody does, it's pretty common, pretty common. And by the way, when I say drop acid and go hiking, that means drop acid, walk eight feet in, sit down in the dirt and look at the ants for eight hours. <laughs> They're just like us. They're just like us. <laughs> so we're in the car. I'm driving. I'm not proud of that fact, but believe me, this is one of hundreds of stories. I'm just glad I never killed anybody. And I'm, I'm, off, I'm clean. You know, I'm sober now. I'm, I'm like the most... I drive a Prius now. I'm like, I couldn't be more nerdy. But then I was crazy. I was crazy. And I, we were driving... And a police officer pulls us over, essentially because if you saw this car, it was a sob. It was the color and texture of pantyhose, and it still had the 
uh, the with the soap where you write the numbers in that it had recently been booted. I mean, we were essentially a rolling bill bind that said billboard that said we are on drugs. Please arrest us now, which they did. They pulled us over. Now the cop. Uh, asked me uh, if I'd been drinking or anything, and I looked at him, and I, <laughs> it must have been the way I looked at him, because he just immediately went back to his car and, and had me get out and, and, and do the tests. Now, because uh, my, my pupil, my pupils were so big, they were like, my pupil, this was my, my left pupil. And he knew I was on something, but he didn't know what. Now, I don't know if you know this, but in Ventura County, and this is where I was arrested, come on vacation, leave on probation. <laughs> they have a problem with meth. You heard of that drug? Meth. And that's what he thought I was on, so he gave me the meth test. Now, for those of you who've never had the meth test, this is what the meth test is. You're supposed to close your eyes, lean your head back, and when you think 30 seconds are up, you say, now. This is what somebody on meth does. Now. <laughs> it's an upper, it's a, your clock, your internal clock's going a little bit faster. But on LSD, you can bend time and space. <laughs> These are not the droids you're looking for, officer. So he has me close my eyes and lean my head back, and I imagine this Salvador Dalian clock, melting clock, and I watch it, and when, it, when it, I think it's 30 seconds, I go, no. <laughs> and I can tell by the look on this guy's, now granted, this guy's face is mutating from his face into a praying mantis into my mother's, you know, there's a lot going on there. <laughs> but I could tell by the look on his praying mantis face that I had nailed it. Nailed it, his little cop watch. Yes, thank you. Thank you. And it didn't end well, it didn't end well. Um, he just reached right into my pocket. He said, can I search you? And I go, go ahead, cop. Because I knew there were a lot of drugs. They were all in the car. And my friends, they had the good job. Eat the drugs, that's your job. I'm on the front line. You're the good, the job I would have taken in this. Oh, I'm sorry, we had to eat him. You were the cop. And he goes, good, can I search you? I go, go ahead. And so he reaches in and pulls out a half bottle of bourbon, half drunk. And I remember thinking, oh yeah. <laughs> Alcohol. It's illegal. There's some law about driving with that stuff. And so then all the dogs came, and it, this was Ventura, this was in Ojai, so like every cop in the 90 mile, you know, like, oh my God! There must have been 20 cops there, and dogs, <laughs> the dogs sniffing, it was all in one place, it was in a little lunch box underneath one of the seats, because my friends did not eat the drugs. <laughs> Still to this day, I have a resentment for that, you know? And so we were thrown in jail, uh, multiple uh, charges, possession of narcotics, no, there were a lot of drugs, uh, possession of narcotics with intent to sell. And by the way, I had no intention of selling any of them. They were all going in my body. Now, the, the reason I bring up this story on my 51st birthday, 51st birthday. <laughs> I just have a stroke up here. <laughs> no, the reason I bring this up, and this is for you 20 and 30 year olds. If you don't have a story like this, get one, fast. Because I am on a sprinting, now at 51, I'm sprinting towards the sweet sleep of death. But you, you're still young enough. So here's what I say to you young people. Have sex with someone you don't know in this room tonight. I want you going on a threesome, something crazy. Hold up a liquor store, do it! Do it tonight! Because in three seconds, you'll be waking up with like, overcooked turkey, your kids <laughs> that you're supporting, and you'll drive home in your Prius. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.